Yo. Yo. So yesterday I was fiddling with this LPD8. You know, I just got it the other day. So, you know, I did a quick little review on how to like, you know, kind of mess with it. But now there's going to be more in depth of how to mess with the midis, I guess, and how to change up, you know, the parameters in it so you can have it set to the proper mid. Cause like I was saying at the on the other video, it was some reason stuck at C3. So in this one, I'm gonna show y'all how to configure it, how to change the colors, and how to you know send it to your machine or your computer. So let's go. All right, so here we go. So you can see I already got my stuff set to E4. It was on E2 or C2 right here. In the program one, as we select get, that's getting the current data from the program it's using. So it's going to be five. And one issue I noticed with the MIDI on FL Studio, and this may just be FL Studio, it is one note lower. Meaning, like if I think it's C5 or I select the C5, it may actually be C3 or C4, pardon me. And when I have it here, this may be hitting three still. So, you know, it might be a little, it might be one note off, but basically all you have to do if you want it on a certain note, is select this and you know, you can scroll the key up and down and it'll take you to that particular note. So these are already set for C5 and you know, C4. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the parameters for a program I haven't touched yet. So we're gonna get three, program three, which is probably gonna still be at two. And actually, pardon me, it will be one up. It's not gonna be one down, it's gonna be one note up. So when I press the C2, it's actually selecting C3. And being that we already have C5 and C4 on here, which means, you know, it's gonna be five, that's gonna be six. I might go lower now. So I can keep this at two if I want to, or I'll, I'll actually keep four at two, and I'll take this up to six. So this is how we're gonna do it. Scroll all the way up. So we get to, there we go, C6. And then what I do is just type it in for the other one, so I don't have to do all that scrolling. So 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 90. So that's pretty much how it works with the the notes I'm gonna save this to my current uh, program and this should pop up I have it in my downloads folder I'm probably gonna move it but right here bam so the next thing we're gonna go to is the pressure messages or the the type of MIDI it is right here is kind of a let me make sure I see this program. Okay, now I'm gonna bring this up a little. We have toggle and momentary. I think momentary is when you select it and it plays it plays out the sample. Toggle, I think you just hold it. Um polyphonic. That's pretty much being able to play keys together or you're making it to be able to select the channel or it's just off all together. I'm leaving that at polyphonic. Another thing I like to do is keep my pressure level or my full level on because for some reason the softer you hit it, the different, the notes are kind of going to be faded. It's going to be weird as you start messing with it because once you press these keys or these notes or pads, pardon me, it's gonna just, it's gonna be as hard as you hit it. I don't like hitting my pads super hard because I know sometimes, depending on how you hit it, 
can get stuck or you could damage it. So I just like to keep it already at full level and I can just EQ it. But that's just a personal preference for me. And that's pretty much how it goes with the, the labels on the bottom with the pressure, the full level and the, the type. So again, I'm gonna send this to three. So I just updated that. I'm gonna get this program. And I'm also gonna turn that on if it's not already. And now the next thing we're gonna focus on is gonna be the colors. People love the colors on here, I guess. So I figured, hey, why not focus on that? So when you hold down your program button, you need to select the next program, which is the note or the pad it's gonna be on. It brings that color up. Like for program one, it's gonna be red, as I see it right here. So I'm gonna press two. That's gonna be green. But I have two greens. I don't like that, right? Program four is purple. And program three is green. So what I'm gonna do is actually change the colors of these pads. And um, it's probably gonna be hard to pull it up with the thing plugged in, but you're gonna see it right here. These are the colors. No. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change this to yellow. I think yellow would be cool for the second one. So we're gonna select off. When you hit the pad on this pad, it's gonna be on is gonna be the color it turns into when you're selecting and when you're pressing it. Off is gonna be what it is showing when it's off. So yellow right here. Yellow right here. Yellow right here. And yellow right here. And you know you do the same thing and so on and so forth. But this is pretty much how you would set it up if you want to change your color. And this is currently program two, if I'm not mistaken. So, yep. I'm going to send that to program two. And now, as you can see, it's yellow on the, on the machine. So, that's pretty much how you change the colors. Um, as far as FL goes with the knobs now, I want to tend to keep it like as it is because with Akai's programming, all you have to do is link knobs or whatever channel you're on and it goes to that specific channel once you turn it, that's how you link it. So I keep my knobs as they are and I think that's why they're selected as global rather than you just automatically having it to a channel. But you could link it to the channel if you want to like you see these are all channel 10. You can make these go to different channels, but at the same time doing that, it may throw off the program. So I tend to keep it as it is, you know, as far as the channels and the sins, because you could do that manually through the program. I'm just more or less, I was just worried about the notes, making sure the notes go to the right places, because I don't want to be selecting C3 all the time, playing the drum when I could be selecting five or six and, you know, Especially having to change the root note each time, that gets pretty annoying. But this is what I figured out, and this is how you use the LPD8. And you know, I hope you guys enjoy it. Like and subscribe, and let me know any pointers you got for me because this is gonna be what I'm using to travel and make beats. But you know, I learn each equipment as I get it, and you know, I'm gonna see what I can do with it. Peace.